On a beautiful morning, a short drive from downtown Houston, another great day is about to begin at the school they call Natchez. I began deciding where I wanted to go like in 7th and 8th grade um, and I decided North Houston Early College High School because of the opportunity of getting an associate's degree while I graduate high school. So the early college model allows students to earn up to 60 transferable college credits um, an associate's degree um, to move on post-secondary. And so we do a really good job of ensuring that our students are ready for college. When they come in as ninth graders, they are college students. And we treat them like college students because we want to make sure they are involved, they are ready, they can understand the transition and feel the support that they need in order to be successful. Once they get into their junior year and they realize, oh, I'm getting college credits, like this is awesome. And they start realizing how expensive college is and, and and um, you see a change in them in junior year and um, that's when everything starts and they start realizing that this early college is actually, actually beneficial because it will save them time with their education and obviously money, which is, is, is college is expensive and um, it gives them that opportunity to um, gasp that with their two-year um, associate's degree. I'm very proud of our students. Um, our students come from very difficult backgrounds and the level of work that they're doing here at Natchez and at HCC, it just, it blows my mind. They have so many things going on, but they're still able to overcome those struggles to be the top scholars that they are today. Based off of those numbers. So let's say, for example, we're still doing this one. I love when I see my students come to me the first day of school and they say, oh, science isn't for me. And then by the end of week three, they're like, I love science class. It's so much fun. What else can I do with science? Um, so just seeing that joy in their eyes when they come into my classroom, that they love science, that's what really gets me going with my students. So good afternoon, guys. My name is Julia Tejada. My name is Angelina Martinez. I'm Luis Hernandez. My name is Saul Chavez. And this is our presentation on Cesar Chavez, a freedom fighter. What you guys saw today was the culmination of a two-month research project. So how did Chavez protest exactly? Um, he decided to protest non-violently. So he then they had to present for 10 to 15 minutes. So the way I put it to him was you guys need to present your topic as if you're teaching a class on it. I like to put that in each semester so the students can take um, possession of their own learning. The challenges are, you know, taking more rigorous classes. It's not that it can't be done, it's just, you know, you have to keep on and you know trying you have to put your best foot forward the classes are a little bit harder but it's nothing that anybody can't get through so what are some things that you could write down as evidence for evidence of learning we do a lot of the learning walks uh, we do a lot of just talking about instructional practices. I don't know if it's a common practice at other high school campuses, but it just allows us to see our colleagues and the way they interact with the students, some of the, their classroom management skills, their classroom management strategies, um, some of their teaching strategies, some things they use in their classroom so we can borrow from them and use it in our classrooms. Um, just seeing other professionals in their work environment, it, it, it really is an inspiration. If you're thinking about the feedback loop, what Check for Understandings closes the feedback loop the tightest? I think a quiz would. Quiz would? What can you do to even make it tighter? What I try to do afterwards is get them to reflect, what did you see that worked? And we try to make it non-personal, but so not what's bad, but more like what's that teachable moment if you were with that teacher? What would what would you have changed? What would you have done to try to push student learning? Well, usually as educators, um, we don't have the opportunity to go around and see each other. And usually we feed off of one another. And that's what happens here. I can go into, like, for example, Mr. Pitts' classroom, which I love um, because it's very close to English. And he has these, like, wonderful Socratic seminars. And, and I see things that he does that I perhaps don't do in my classroom. So that gives me the opportunity to maybe steal a few um, strategies that I can use in my classroom.
I think what's awesome about North Houston Early College High School is that we are located on the Houston Community College campus. We have our own separate building and the building is a small campus, but it's similar to a college. We have different study areas and, and different lounges for the students. We have a student center called the Nest. You could use it to relax, to basically loosen some stress have some more time off to like work or something like, like you decide what you could do in here it's pretty chill so we give it that college feel it's a very small environment but with them being on the college campus they don't have to go too far they get the high school experience while also getting the college experience at the same time but it gives the students such an amazing leg up on their college uh, journey. When so many uh, middle class and lower middle class families are struggling to even consider college because they think it's not affordable, this is not just affordable, but it also, uh, it builds confidence. It's been challenging, but not as challenging as a lot of people would think. It's, it's very stimulating. You're always learning new things. and both inside the classroom and stuff to apply to life. Not everything I've learned here has been just in the books. I've learned a lot of life lessons outside of here, just from talking to friends to talking to teachers and administrators. It puts them in an environment where they can make that transition and build their confidence up and see that they're ready for college level classes. And then uh, the, just the benefit of them starting college as a junior. Uh, I've seen students that go to the four year environment with junior status and then in three years earn a master's degree. So for the, depending on what their career choice is, it, it is definitely an advantage for our students and our community. Well, I am extremely lucky. I have never taught anywhere else. And um, when I speak to my colleagues, they tell me, oh, this is, this is heaven. This is the best working environment, educational environment that I've been in. Um, like I said, the freedom to just grow as an educator the just the amount of appreciation that I feel from the administration, from other teachers, from other staff, like I want for nothing. I plan to go to the University of Texas and I plan to major in education and um, I'm looking forward to learning there and applying what I do and become a teacher and then eventually move my way up to an administrator and maybe like on the board of HID someday. This school is great and I know it sounds like the dream school and it is. I love Natchez.